Hi, and welcome to this online session on improved prefab workflows. My name is Matt Schell. I'm an online evangelist here at Unity Technologies. And today we are going to be taking a look at a feature that is currently in preview. And that is the prefab workflow improvements. So you can find out more at unity3d.com slash prefabs. And importantly, you can get the preview build, right? This is currently a fork of 2018.2, which contains the new prefab workflows and the new tools. On this page, you can find some more information. There is a video that we did for YouTube, along with some shorter clips and some descriptions of the key features. So just to kind of give an overview, the three kind of important features that we're gonna look at are nesting, AKA nested prefabs, prefab variants, and prefab mode. So what these allow us to do is nesting allows us to place prefabs inside other prefabs while still maintaining their relationship to the original prefab asset. Prefab variants allow us to create new assets that still inherit the objects and properties of a prefab, but at the same time, we have the possibility to override certain selected properties on the variant, and we'll see some examples of that. And then prefab mode allows us to open prefabs and edit them in their own editing window uh, instead of having to drop them into the scene and apply and delete and so on. Importantly, as I said, you can get the build, and there are also some small sample projects which are in this linked forum thread. Uh, we have the one that we showed uh, using assets from the 3D game kit and another one uh, which uses some robots. And so you can grab those and take a look. So what we are gonna do, I'm gonna show you the completed thing that we're gonna build. So we're gonna use this for some 2D level design. So as you can see, we've got a 2D level created with tile map. We've got some enemies. We've got this blob, this pink bat and this orange bat. They're pathing between some waypoints with some super simple scripts. And there is actually a very simple procedural component to this. So if we go into the game view, we can see there's nothing here besides the character. And let's go up to the finished demo scene. We can see we have the cameras, the background, uh, and nothing in it, right? Just the clouds and uh, the character and this level generator object, which is going to spawn the... Let's actually, it's gonna spawn two prefabs. So let's actually put those in there. We have our level one and level two. And so if we, it's gonna choose randomly between those and spawn out a level. And we'll see how this becomes useful soon. So if we look at the scene view, we can see that it's randomly selected. Um, some different, <laughs> selected one of them again and again and again, but we can see we've got some different uh, some different copies, and we've got some coins with particles. And let's actually, let's respawn just so we can see the level that has uh, some more enemies in it. So here we go. We can see we have some enemies, right? They're moving back and forth between waypoints. We have this blob uh, that's also moving between waypoints, some coins where we can collect and, and uh, with a little sound and some particles. Uh, and then we have this bat enemy as well. And if we touch... Uh, one of the enemies will get reset to the beginning of the level. So super simple, um, but we're going to see how using the new prefab workflows, uh, we can work with this in a really interesting way. Now, just a little kind of personal commentary. This is obviously, a fee if you've been in the Unity community for a long time, you'll know this is a feature people have been waiting for for a long time. We made several attempts to design this, um, and I think finally have hit on a workflow uh, and, and a kind of a user experience that's really powerful and flexible and, and really solves the problem in a cool way. I have had a blast working with this so far. It's very different, right? It really changes the way that you work with prefabs and game objects in Unity. And I have to admit, I'm still kind of understanding the possibilities uh, and, and the new workflows that are possible. So this is kind of early days for this feature. We're all still learning it together. Uh, and so I think hopefully this demo uh, will shed some light on it and give you some ideas as well. 